Okay, I was asked to post a, uh, an answer to uh, question number four of a mock test I gave in class a couple days ago. And the question asks, 12 grams of propane is burned. Write the balanced chemical equation. And um, we are told that the heat of formation for propane is negative 103.85 kilojoules per mole of propane form. How much energy is released by this reaction? And I say use appendix C, which is for your textbooks, to find the values. Assume that water is produced, that the water that is produced remains gaseous. This is an important point because there's a large energy difference, be difference between gaseous water and liquid water. Just think about how much energy it takes to boil a liter of water and to turn it completely into steam. That's the difference between delta H, uh, not F of H2OL, and uh, delta H not F of uh, H2O. G. So it is an important distinction. It's important for you to notice which symbol is written in the, in the um, balanced equation. So the first step here is to balance the equation for the combustion of, of propane. Propane has the formula C3H8. Whenever you combust something, you need oxygen. Uh, and, and if it's a full combustion reaction, you're going to get carbon dioxide and water only. Only when you have incomplete combustion do you get other things like soot and carbon monoxide. But we're, we're going to assume this is a complete combustion reaction. And uh, when you balance combustion equations, proceed alphabetically. Balance the carbon, then the hydrogen, then the oxygen. So there are three carbon atoms in the propane atoms, so uh, propane molecules, so we're going to put three carbon dioxides. Because the only carbon that you see is the carbon in, on the right hand side of the equation is going to be in the form of CO2. There are eight uh, hydrogen atoms in propane, so we're going to put four waters because that's going to count for the hydrogens. Then worry about balancing the oxygens. So we have six oxygen plus four oxygens gives you a total of ten oxygens, so we're going to put five O2s on the left, and that we now have a balanced equation. Now we look up all the heats of formation of the different substances in the balanced equation. Propane is negative 103, we were given that in the, in, in the question. These values were obtained from the appendix of our, of our textbook. You could look them up in the CRC, or they might even be given in the question usually. Or sometimes they'll give you three of them and they'll leave one out, and they'll ask you to find what the missing one is, but then you have to have the value for the whole equation. In this case, they're asking us the value for the whole equation, but they've given us the four heats of formation. So we recall that the heat of reaction is equal to the heats of formation for the products, put a little f in here, minus the heats of formation for the reactants. Again, use the square brackets for the product and the square bracket for the reactants. That way you, you know not to confuse them. These are the stoichiometric coefficients that you see from the balanced equation. Three times the heat of formation for carbon dioxide, four times the heat of formation for gaseous water, minus the heat of formation for propane for oxygen at zero because any element in its natural state has a zero heat of formation. We do the math and we get final answer of 2044 kilojoules per mole of propane burned. Then the question, the next question is 12 grams of propane is burned. So the mass of propane divided by the molar mass of propane gives you the moles of propane. We have 0.272 moles of propane times the heat of Combustion, in other words, the value for this reaction, which is negative 2043. You notice how I reverted to the, the, the number that had the full decimal places, so we don't uh, introduce uh, truncation error. That's what you report as your final answer, but you don't use this answer to do the next step of the calculation. Go back to all the decimal places that you had in your, in your original number, the unrounded number, that is. And you get 5.562 times 10 to the 2 kilojoules, we now round it off to uh, three significant figures, I believe is what we're allowed, because I only had three significant figures here. In fact, now that I think about it, this should have been down to three significant figures. So I should have, I should have reported this as um, negative 2.04 times 10 to the 3 kilojoules to be perfectly consistent in the significant figures. And here the final answer is negative 556 kilojoules.